Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the 15 best designed Android applications of 2014. Inbox by Gmail stormed the headlines for two reasons. It was made by Google and because it challenged the current email application paradigm. The results were polarizing because some people liked it and other people hated it. However, once you get past the shock of the change, Inbox is a very clean and organized email application. It also integrates with Google Now's reminder functionality, which is nice. It's also free to use. Link Bubble is a browser hidden inside of a floating notification. The idea is that you can open a bunch of links from your favorite apps and social media sites and then go back and look at them when you choose to do so. It's an amazing idea and it definitely alters things like how often people engage with content. You don't have to wait for the browser to open so you end up opening more stuff and then going back to look at it later. The free version gives you a taste and the full experience costs $3.99. Not a lot of people knew the purpose of Google Messenger since Google Hangouts exists, but it turned out to be a very well-designed application and very useful. It is a light text messaging app that first made its appearance on the Nexus 6, and it's now available for most devices. There are some light customization options like changing the color for various contacts, and it's totally free to use. Mootsai Live Wallpaper isn't the most popular application on this list, but it has a very loyal following. It's a live wallpaper that shows you the most classic artistic pieces in history. It definitely adds a little class to the home screen, and there's even an API available that other developers have used to integrate this application into their own, such as Chris Lacey's Action Launcher. It's totally free and a good way to enjoy some classic art. MyStocks is a stock market application that lets you keep an eye on the stock market, your stocks, and news revolving around the stock market and your stocks. It has a bucket load of features that are cleverly hidden behind a solid hollow interface that is complete with analytics, graphs, and other information. What makes this app impressive is how much information there is and how well it's organized. If you do stocks, you should definitely try this one out. Microsoft released Next Lock Screen from their Microsoft Garage project and it is something a little bit different. It warps your home screen into a combination of lock screen, contacts application, app drawer, and calendar app. It's great for people who use those functions regularly and the ability to put that much right there on the lock screen without that overwhelming feeling is something pretty special. It has some problems with bugs, but the design itself is solid. Stack Exchange is a huge website with a lot of content that has helped countless people over the years and they just released an Android application earlier this year. The design is classic hollow and it manages to give you access to all of its websites and subsidiaries without too much effort and without making it feel too crowded. There are even some customization options available if you need that. It's a great application and anyone who is curious about anything should have it. Sunrise Calendar was a big deal for its colorful and organized design and it was around before the announcement of Material Design. It's compatible with Google Calendar, Exchange, and even iCloud for those of you who may need those services. Other than that, it does pretty much what calendars do. There are some behind the scenes stuff that could be fixed, but the design is extremely pretty and solid. Plus, it's totally free. Talent for Twitter has been a huge hit in 2014. Its sleek design, fun layout, and customization made it a favorite for many Twitter users, so much so that the original application hit its Twitter token limit so that developers had to release a second one. More recent updates added a bunch of material design and that has allowed Talent to remain probably the best designed Twitter app currently out. The only bad part is that it's only available for Android Lollipop right now. Unclouded is such a great idea and it's coincidentally wrapped up in a great design. The premise for the app is that it allows you to check and clean your cloud storage of useless junk and free up space for other files. It also lets you find duplicates so if you're like me and you uploaded your camera roll to two different places, you can identify that and correct it. The interface is simple hollow UI mixed with a card UI that makes this app very effective and easy to use. Wally is another material design app that grabbed the headlines and took the internet by storm. Unfortunately, it was shut down after the website that hosted the wallpapers this app showed went down, but it's back now with a new set of wallpapers and all of its material design glory. The app is a great example of what material design can do for an otherwise boring task like finding wallpapers, and it's also totally free. Wemail is another application that wants to change how people email on mobile. Unlike Inbox, which requires a bit of organization skills, Wemail turns the email experience into something akin to a chat application. Emails are organized by sender rather than chronologically, and there are a few features like voice emails and a solid, if somewhat incomplete, material design. It's free to try, and it's definitely something different. Aviate Launcher received so much press this year that Yahoo went and bought the damn thing for a reported $50 million. It simplifies the home screen and puts applications in categories for easy reference. There are also some customization options, but the big thing here is how Aviate managed to simplify the Android experience and still look really good doing it. It remains totally free even after the Yahoo buyout, and it's a unique style of launcher. 
Yo Window Weather is a beautifully done weather application that turns your device into a window of the weather. When it's sunny, the application is sunny, and when it's rainy, the application is rainy. You can check the weather by the minute by using a very nifty slider functionality, and you can get your weather forecast as you normally would. It looks amazing, and it's definitely worth picking up the free version to try it out. Nokia Z Launcher is another launcher that tries to simplify the Android experience using some very unique interface choices. There is one home screen with a clock widget that can be swiped to look at other information like the weather. The rest of the home screen is dedicated to trying to guess which applications you need based on where you are and what time it is. The big feature is the ability to write on the home screen and search for apps very quickly that way. It's still in beta, but it's an interesting choice. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy. While you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.